The beaches of Santa Monica and Venice not too far from our setting today. The Staples Center in Los Angeles. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Here now, the upcoming schedule for the Portland Trailblazers. On Wednesday, I'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Friday, Los Angeles Clippers will come into town. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. Now, I saw C.J. McCollum play all four of his years at Lehigh. He said the grind and hunger of a mid-major athlete is just different. You have to carry the responsibility of the team and literally the entire program. The tournament is on your shoulders. You get a lot of stuff that can't be taught. Guys, now he's the teacher. I'm just glad he's no longer schooling my beloved AU Eagles. <laughs> and David, as most people know, you went to American, so I get it. Class in session. Thanks, DA. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Powell and Covington up at the forward. At the guard spots, longtime teammates Lillard and McCollum. And it's Nurkic in at the five, patrolling the paint. And for the Clippers, MP is out there with Speedy. Then there's the great one. Then it's Barrett and it's Whitehead in at the power forward. Should be a very tactical game tonight. Both teams, Greg relying on execution in the half court. Yeah, and the, that requires ball movement, player movement. You can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Hines the pass to McCarthy. Unable to get that one. Good D by Covington. Here is Lillard. Pass to Nurkic. Over Hayward. And Nurkic, the bucket on the assist by McCollum. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Hayward looking around. Here's McCarthy. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Powell trying to claw his way back after a terrible showing in that loss to Phoenix. Hayward outside. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. With the floater. Second chance shot. Can't capitalize inside. Hayward against McCullough. Here's Whitehead. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. The Trailblazers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Hayward against Lillard. And the rejection by MP. Hayward outside. Barrett against Powell. MP deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Whitehead. He kicks to Barrett. Five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. He gets that one. And that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now, here's Lillard. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. CJ and the McCullough. basket by McCullough. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. And standing 6'3 at that shooting guard spot, 
You know, the naysayers will question McCollum's lack of size defensively. Well, it might not be, G.A., the, the size part of it defensively. It's the fact that, you know, you'd like to make more of an impact defensively. So forget the size. You know, C.J. needs to show some more effort on that end. The, the best part about C.J. is that he usually wins the matchup on a nightly basis Damian because Lillard. he's such an incredible scorer. And that's where maybe you make up the difference. Just so good at rising, firing, and dismantling defenses. MP with the bounce pass. On its way from Hayward for two. Portland grabs the miss. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Count it! And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Covington dishes to McCollum. Hayward grabs the board. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. And there's the pass to McCarthy. Hayward outside. Kicks it to MP. To the inside. Here's Barrett. A shot missing. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Lillard against Barrett. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. Now here's Powell. Defense right on him. McCollum against MP. The shot's good. CJ Sometimes CJ, just with movement alone, finds himself in the right spot, and this time picks up a couple of garbage points. Now here's MP. Pass to Whitehead. Hayward against Lillard. From 18 feet away, Hayward can't hit. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Three-pointer, Lillard. It's rebounded by Barrett. Now, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and it seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Into the lane. Lays it up and banks it in. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now here's Powell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Norkic in the post. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. His first personal foul. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Well, you know, everyone Northern wants to see what you got. In reality, also, you want to see what you have against the best players in the world. So it'll take some time, though, to adapt to the speed of the game. But ultimately, it's about going out and competing. A free throw drops for Powell. So for the Trailblazers, Zeller is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Nance comes in for Robert Covington. And Tony Snell subbed in for McCullough. And so Powell nails both of them. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Barrett. Hayward outside. Passes to McCarthy. Makes it off the glass. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Lillard outside. Powell against Hayward. Left side, Nance. Back to Powell. That one wide left. 
His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Powell against Barrett. Shoots over Powell. He can't get it to go. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Pass to Nance. Knocked loose and stolen by Hayward. Hines, the pass to Barrett. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. So it's the Clippers now. Down to five on the shot clock for three. Hayward. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Now, here's MP. After the miss from Damian Lillard. Now, here's MP. He's covered closely. A word against Nance. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Snell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Get the perimeter. Now Powell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Well, what do you guys think so far about the offensive Norman approach Powell. for Los Angeles? The line for they two. pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. The free throw drops for Powell. And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. And Portland with a change here, too. Simons has checked in. And so Powell nails both of them. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. There's the pass to Lewis. Garnett outside. Los Angeles with another miss. Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trail Blazers. He takes it in. Lewis grabs the board. The Los Angeles Clippers, they come into this one following a loss to the Grizzlies. And guys, if you don't control second chance opportunities, you don't control your fate. That has to be their key takeaway from that one. Well, maybe they went into that game thinking rebounding not something they needed to focus on. They absolutely did. Those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Here's Sampson driving the lane. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Zeller's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Snell. Pass to Simons. Back to Snell. Just four to shoot. Here's Zeller. Man's trying to break loose. Shot by Zeller, no good. Clippers trail by three. Here's Sampson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Drew. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Passes it to Zeller. He kicks it to Snell. Sinks the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. 
Now here's Garnett. 129 left to play here in the first. It's deflected. Larry Nance Jr. getting up and getting it out. The second chance effort. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Zeller's got six rebounds here tonight. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Portland. Marquise Chris. One eleven left in the first quarter. Got a piece of it. Zeller finds Snell. Pass to Chris. Five to shoot. First shot, first basket. Marquise He's Chris. out of the blocks fast. Well, Marquise Chris, you got to remember, 240 pounds, so scoring through contact is possible. Sampson, the pass to Lewis. Here's Garnett. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. 43 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Simons. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Phoenix. From 13, here's Chris. Another shot. Zeller. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's Sampson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pocket six. Allen outside for the three. Hits it from three-point range. He does so much out there to stretch out the defense, and he's out on the perimeter, and he drains the triple. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Trailblazers up three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. with the talent around him, Damian Lillard able to play off the ball. He explained how that helped him get open. Getting the ball later in possessions when the defense isn't so sharp, you know, usually at the beginning of a defensive possession is get over the first screen. You know, they the energy is up, um, they're interested, and usually at about 12 seconds they're a little tired. Um, the interest goes down. Damian Lillard, Greg, accustomed to making shots with the clock winding down. They have a phrase for it. Whether the defense is locked in or not, that clock is ticking down to dang time. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And take a look at the Trail Blazers performance here, boys. Uh, what do you think they're doing or not doing? just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense and they've been opportunistic here. In a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Trailblazers Chris is out there with Cody Zeller. Then there's CJ McCollum. Then there's Larry Nance and it's Simons in at the point guard. Now oh, here's McCullough. Foul. He's coming off a 16-point game against Phoenix. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Here's Garnett. Kicks it to Lewis. Back to Garnett. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now here's McCollum. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. Well, McCollum undersized at his position, at least in terms of his strength. 
but he can play that way because he competes. That's a tough one there. Here's Garnett. Now the pass to Sampson. Garnett outside. Launches it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Portland basketball. Trailblazers is making a switch here. Covington's checked in. Robert Covington. Portland with the ball. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Portland moving the ball around. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Garnett outside. Rebounded by McCollum. For Portland, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And out of Lehigh, C.J. McCollum, probably the best player ever out of the Patriot League. Yeah, I don't think that's a stretch, Kevin. In 2013, when he was taken 10th in the NBA draft, I think a lot of people were trying to look up not just C.J. McCollum's name, but where Lehigh was in the country. But that draft pick has paid off huge for Portland. Him and Lillard have been one of the most dynamic backcourts in the league for the last few seasons. And it is a tough matchup on a nightly basis to try to produce against what McCollum brings to the table offensively. And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. And that one misses. Let me remind the audience, Brent Berry, a winner of two titles with the Spurs. Brent, what's the secret sauce to winning a title? Yeah, honestly, you got to have a superstar. And I was lucky enough to play with the great Hall of Famer Tim Duncan, um, along with Greg Popovich. You got to have a couple of those guys on your team uh, in order to win a title. Here's Simons. No points in the game yet for him. The feed to McCollum. Nance outside. Just five to shoot. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Barrett. Down low. MP, no good. Trailblazers leading by three. Here's McCollum. Covington trying to break free. CJ and the McCollum. basket by McCollum. McCollum's got eight points. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Nance. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. Covington trying to break free. It's tipped. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barrett. Lillard checked in for Anthony Simon. Damian Lillard. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Poke loose. And here we go. Fast break. MP's got it. Now the dish to Barrett. Back to MP. Five on the clock to end the cold streak. C.J. McCollum with the rebound. McCollum's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Lillard. That fall. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for the Trailblazers. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right. They're just not playing their best.
Trailblazers. Your Clippers, Ferris Dancy. Make some noise. Clippers trail by seven. Hayward passes to Hines. There's Whitehead. For three, Hayward bangs on the trifecta. It's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. McCollum outside. The shot, no good. Good defense by MP. Pass to Whitehead. Hayward outside. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Hayward's got five now. Trailblazers have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Lillard against Barrett. Lillard scanning the floor. Nurkic trying to get open. Chalk up to there. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. MP outside. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. A nice silky finish on the alley oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Now here's Nance. 11 point game his last outing. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Pass to Nurkic. And the layup's good off the glass. Jesus, Nurkic. Nurkic has got his second bucket. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Hayward outside. Nance with some nice D. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. McCollum got a piece of it. Here it against Covington. Here it with the ball. Over McCollum. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Norkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Hayward against Lillard. No good that time. And the Clippers will come the other way. And here's Barrett. Pass to Whitehead. Rebounded by McCollum. McCollum's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Nance outside. Barrett against Lillard. He dishes it to McCollum. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Whitehead's got rebound number five here tonight. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Now, here's MP. The pass to Whitehead. Now McCollum. Eight points for him. Here's Lillard. It's deflected. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. MP with the ball. Here's Hayward. Basket made. That's his third of the game. He's three for nine now. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Go out and crazy as fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans.
James and Levine James. for the Clippers. Shake and bake comes in for easy breezy. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Zeller, he's checked in for Robert Covington. Norman Powell comes in for Nance. And Tony Snell subbed in for McCullough. Now here's Lillard. 20 points for him last game against Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, we have to mention his rebounding. It wasn't all about the offense. He, he battled his tail off down low. Well, we talk about the clutch scoring of Damian Lillard. I'll put it in black and white. Since he entered the league in 2012, nobody has more makes in the last 20 seconds of a game to tie or go ahead. Nobody. MP, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Powell finds Nurkic. Count the basket. And it's a six-point trailblazer lead. Think about Nurkic and how great it is to see him back on the floor. That horrific leg injury back in March of 2019. And the list of players with multiple series clinching buzzer beaters in the playoffs. Michael Jordan and Damian Lillard. And with a little Bon Voyage wave of the hand for good measure, Dame time is as real as it gets. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Lillard, the pass to Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. 156 left now here in the second. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer, Lillard. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Hines, the pass to Barrett. Rebounded by Snell. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. MP with it, and Zeller picks him up defensively. And the basket is good. MP's got a second bucket tonight. All the way to the bucket, no resistance, just swipe the candy from him. Zeller dishes to Snell. Hayward against Lillard. And that one, good. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Hayward kicks to MP. Hayward outside. Pass to man. Back to Hayward. There's the triple. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Hayward's got ten points in the game. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Lillard right side. Here's Zeller, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. He has six. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Now here's Hayward. 23 points for him the last game against Memphis. Just five on the clock. MP outside. No good with the triple. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Cody, you are having an impact for your team in the first half. What has been your approach? Uh, I always want to come out with energy. Uh, try to give us a spark off the bench. So trying to be aggressive on both ends. Especially on the defensive end, trying to force turnovers, trying to speed them up. Uh, it's a talented team. It's been working so far, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even, and they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. Taking a look at the Trailblazers, Kenny, what's your viewpoint? 
Great work on the glass so far. They're hustling and showing more desire than boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's the recipe for success. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers. It was a great display of team ball. Less than five individuals out there. It was one cohesive unit sharing the run. Not only does that make it harder to guard, it makes the game more enjoyable to watch. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So Lillard will bring it up for Portland. Leading by five. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. We've got the great one. Barrett is out there with Whitehead. Then it's MP. And it's Hayward in at the one spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. His first personal foul. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. McCollum against MP. McCollum outside. Over Hayward. Here's Nurkic. Plays it up and banks it in. Nurkic. Nurkic has got the lead up to seven now for Portland. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. MP finds Hayward. Here's McCarthy. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the night. line for two. First free throw is good. And Portland making a change here. Covington's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Trailblazers leading by five. Column passes to Nurkic. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Dishes it to Lillard. Looking to get back on track here. Now Lillard just a menace when he's driving inside. Forces the D to act. That's why he gets those calls. The Trailblazers have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And the first one at the line is good. Think about just how much focus Lillard has every year about his drive to be one of the best guards in the league. Whether it's recognized or not by an all-star appearance really doesn't have an impact on how he approaches the game. And he makes both free throws. Clippers trail by seven. MP outside. And Barrett now top of the key. Hayward against Powell. And Hayward gets it to go. Hayward's got 12 points in the game. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. And those are the kind of shots that Lillard, when he gets in these hot streaks throughout the course of a season, 
gets more and more consistent with. Here's the great one. He has six. Hayward outside. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Lillard. Hayward can't hit. Portland leading by eight. McCollum with the ball. Nurkic up top. Lillard outside. Back to Nurkic. Knocked away. Barrett with the ball. Now defended by McCullough. MP, no good. Portland's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And there's the foul. It'll go on the whistle. That's foul number two for him. Chris, he's checked in for Nurkic. Into the lineup for the Trailblazers. Marquise Chris. It loose and it's Chris in the corner six to shoot that's a two from Lillard and he hits the jumper for two Lillard's got the lead up to ten now for the Trailblazers well, defensively they've been flat in this second half a very different type of team than we saw in the first and the Clippers call time here and they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right. They're just not playing their best. Again for Portland. And for Dave Simon. Trail Blazers on D. Ten point lead. This is their biggest. Covington against Hayward. Here's Whitehead. He's got six. Los Angeles with another miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Inside, here's Powell. Lays it up and in no, off the no, pretty no. assist. And it's a 12-point trailblazer lead. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now, here's Barrett. This is it to McCarthy. Pocket four. MP way outside. They get it back. Here's Whitehead. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Whitehead's got eight points. Well, maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Here's Chris. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds to Portland. Trailblazer He'll retain ball. possession. And the Clippers making a change here. Lewis has checked in. Nancy's checked in for the Trailblazers. Chris finds Powell. Here's Simon. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The road less traveled. Anthony Simons 
took a year after high school just training at a basketball Shoot, academy. Reporting. No college, and for not the most center. glamorous route, Two but his game has some flash to it. He's one of those guys, GA, that comes into the game and just is an offensive force. Takes shots off the dribble, can shoot threes, is lightning quick and Take gets to the basket. Still very Two young, shots. still a lot of room for him to grow, but he has shown flashes. And he makes the first. Good on both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Down by 12. MP outside. Looking to end his cold spell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Trailblazers. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points in there. And the first one drops. No good on the second free throw. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Simons, the pass to McCollum. Howell inside. Covered by MP. Six on the shot clock. McCollum, no good. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now, here's Barrett. Back to MP. Unloads. And he can't bank that one in. Portland leading by 11. Powell inside. Fended by Hayward. And that one is off. Here's Barrett. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. McCollum with the ball, picked up by Barrett. And it's McCollum off the drive, and he gets it to go. McCollum. McCollum's got the lead up to 13 now for the Trailblazers. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Hayward outside. Plays it up off the glass. Hayward's got four points in the quarter. Beautiful timing, execution, great move to the rack. Here's Simons, fended by Hayward. Simons, the pass to McCollum. Over MP. Trailblazers keep it alive. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. B-Train's checked in for the great one. Portland also making some changes. Zeller comes in for Norman Powell. And Tony Snell subbed in for McCullough. So we can't get either to fall. Marquise Chris has potential oozing from his fingertips 
So exciting and so athletic at that four spot. MP, no good. Trailblazers leading by 11. Here's Snell. Here's Zeller. Close contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, how about that one, able to maintain control and finish the play? And this and is his first trip to the line tonight. Cody it was a, a little bit of a battle shot. for him all season long. Last year, only shooting about 71%. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg, and that's where you're from, that's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again after what we've gone through, partner. It is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Clippers trail by 14. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Hayward dishes to MP. Two points, that one goes. MP's got seven points. He's obviously hit a, a bit of a dry spell here. Only one of five this quarter. Here's Simons, fended by Hayward. Chris, pass to Simons. This one for three. The Trailblazers get it back in a new 14. Here's Zeller, and finally they hit one. Zeller's got five points in the quarter. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Pass to Lewis. Hayward, left side. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Simons, the pass to Zeller. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Now the pass to Simons. Pass to Zeller. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. He gets it in there. And, for and the Trailblazers lead by 16. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. On the wing, MP. And the shot goes in. So it's Portland now. Here's Simons. Fires from deep. It doesn't go for him. And the Clippers will come the other way. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Here's Hayward. Portland grabs the miss. Simons has got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Zeller. Over Hayward. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And the Clippers call time here. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls.
substitution here for the Clippers. Smooth checked in for B-Train. Drew comes in for Mr. Fundamentals. The Magician, he's checked in for MP. And it's Skinny in for Speedy. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Damian Lillard comes in for Anferni Simon. Samson shot, good. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Three-pointer, Lillard buries the long-range jumper. Lillard. Lillard's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Trailblazers. Garnett outside. Here's Sampson. He's guarded by Nurkic. Barrett kicks to Sampson. Five on the clock. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Zeller's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after him. Lillard left side. Pass to Zeller. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Zeller's got nine points here in the second half. Clippers trail by 19. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Garnett outside. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The Trailblazers shooting 43% for the game. Up top, Nance. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Feeds it to Nurkic. Out of bounds. Out of the Clippers bounds. take possession. LA basketball. Whitehead's checked in for Smooth. And Portland with a change here, too. Robert Covington's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. There's 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Sampson. Five to shoot. Driving to the basket. And Covington sends it back. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here's Sampson. And on the floor for Portland here on the fourth. Powell and Covington up at the forward. Tony Snell is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Zeller in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. To the paint, here's Sampson. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. Lillard outside. Back to Snell. Lock at six. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Trailblazers lead by 21. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. The pass to Hines. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Oh, come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you, there have been many times where I've gone back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. Here's Lillard. Offensive rebound. Powell for three. Trains the three-pointer. Guys, they're just getting out work. I mean, plain and simple. It's got to be more of a collective effort to secure that backboard. 
MP kicks to Sampson. Shoots over Lillard. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. There's the dish to Snell. He's looking for Lillard and finds him. Damian that Lillard. one goes in. Assisted by 23 points for Damian Snell. Lillard. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Pass to Whitehead. Fires it up. Zeller grabs the board. For Portland, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Snell, covered by MP. Here's Lillard. The second effort, that's tipped. Here's Sampson. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Covington shot is off. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now, here's Barrett. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Los Angeles calls timeout. And last season, All-Stars Greg missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, right, are you man. concerned about the toll it takes? Make you are, but this off-season is yeah. not as painfully short as the last one. And in these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. Look who's coming on to the court. Come on, get loud for your Clippers spirit. All right, look who's coming on to the court. Come on, get loud for your Clippers spirit. A different look for the Clippers. The great one comes in for Drew. And Speedy subbed in for Skinny. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. McCollum's checked in. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Hayward. The layup missed. The Trailblazers have gone four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. And the dunk by Powell. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Here's Whitehead, defended by Covington. Hayward passes to Whitehead. And he gets Covington the whistle. Two foul. free throws coming up. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons. For your and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged two. down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Zeller. Little comes in for Robert Covington. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And Smith subbed in for Damian Lillard. And so he makes both from the line. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here is Smith. Now here's McLemore outside. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Hayward. 
MP outside. Here's the great one, covered by Smith. McCarthy, the pass to Hines. Four on the shot clock. Here's Barrett. Goes back up. The shot, no good. And it's Portland the other way. Pass to McCollum. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter, and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Trying to break that ice cold streak. MP with it. Working on Chris. And here is MP. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Now McLemore. Smith outside. Takes it inside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Putting that athleticism to good use. Dennis Smith Jr. explosive. Overwhelmed the defense that time. Dennis Smith Jr. at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And Greg, the league's in a great place for talent. So many incredible players just entering their primes. You excited where the league is right now headed? Oh, my goodness, Kevin. Guys like Devin Booker and Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell. I mean, the list goes on and on. And a lot of these youngsters carrying their teams to great heights. Impressive to watch. And so he's able to get one of two. Dennis Smith Jr. declaring for the draft after an unreal freshman campaign at NC State being named the ACC Freshman of the Year, something no Wolfpack player had done in over 40 seasons. the line for your Clippers. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Portland making a change here. Simons is checked in. And both free throws good for MP. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. McCollum feeling it out a bit to the inside. Nurkic, that ball. Nice feed that time from McCollum. CJ McCollum's got five assists tonight. Clippers shooting just 34% from the floor. Barrett kicks to Hayward. Clippers moving the ball around. A three from MP. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Powell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Simons. Break player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Here's Hines, and Covington sends it back. His shooting this quarter has to be a huge 
concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Another miss by MP. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Oh, that's blocked. And they get it back. Covington passes to McCollum. Shot clock at five. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. Nurkic. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And the injury troubles for Yusuf Nurkic the last few seasons, Brent. My goodness. Freak injuries, too. Just bad luck. I feel like we've said that about the Blazers for about 30 years, uh, and for Nurkic especially, just the broken leg, a broken wrist. And, you know, when he was in the Find lineup the last year, Kevin, they were, the they were one of the best defensive starting fives in the game. Uh, with him being out, they suffered. Let's hope he has good health for the rest of his career. Nurkic plays with a little bit of that edge, a little bit of moxie, and that toughness is something the teammates can rally behind. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. For three, Hayward. And it's rebounded by Covington. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Lillard dishes to McCollum. There's the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got rebound number eight now on the night. They get a hand on it. Covington with the steal. McCollum outside. To the middle. Here's Nurkic. And he overshot that one, missing. L.A. has gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. There at the pass to McCarthy. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. The great one's got four points now in the quarter. Lillard outside. Back to Powell. Let's it go. The Clippers grab the miss. The great one's got rebound number five here tonight. Hayward against Lillard. Hayward goes in. McCarthy. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. And that's 12 points for the great one can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket now here's Lillard back to McCollum goes up and lays it nice and easy. that's tremendous vision on the part of Lillard just trying to lead the team right now from the point now here's Hayward MP outside. Basket good. Lillard with it. It's McCollum on the wing. Covington kicks to Lillard. That one falls. And yeah, we could be having one of those nights where he becomes the one-man show for his ball club. You just don't need to tell him to keep scoring. He'll do it. Now here's Hayward. There's the pass to Hines. With some arc. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got six rebounds now in the game. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Trailblazers. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series. 
to establish a psychological edge. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Cody Zeller. Uh, just a force on the glass. Did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. And that one misses. A different look now for Portland. Little, he's checked in for Powell. Ben McLemore comes in for C.J. McCollum. And it's Dennis Smith in for Lillard. That one is no good. Portland's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Smith dishes to McLemore. Back to Smith. Outside Covington. Pass to Nurkic. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Barrett kicks to MP. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Hayward right side. McCarthy. Nurkic with the block. Nurkic big and blocking. Smith scanning the floor. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Dane, how much do you challenge yourself to provide that scoring to get this team over the hump? I mean, coming into the game, I know I'm going to get a lot of attention. Uh, team's trying to stop me, so I let it come to me. And, um, you know, nobody has ever won a game in the first half. Um, it, it gets done in the second half, so that's when I come on and try to get it done. That is when the stars shine the brightest, and you were shining out there tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.